Today I want to tell you guys about my brand new travel tripod. This is the Manfrotto Element tripod, the aluminum version, and it's been my go-to travel tripod for the last couple of months. Now for context, here is my old travel tripod. This is the three pod carbon fiber, which I had been using prior since 2014, I think is when I got this tripod. But the main problem with this tripod is that it's discontinued. So you may have seen my other tripod video where I'm talking about how to buy a tripod and going over the many tripods that I own. But that video is a little outdated because out of all the tripods that I mentioned, there's only one that I still use today, and that is not this three pod travel tripod. This one has been replaced with the Manfrotto Element. Now there is a carbon fiber version of this Manfrotto Element, but after using a carbon fiber tripod for several years, I'm actually preferring the aluminum version, just because it is slightly heavier, but not dramatically heavier. And because it's heavier though, it's a little bit more sturdy, and it's also able to support more weight. The maximum payload of the Manfrotto Element aluminum version is a little over eight pounds. Now for context, this is my Sony a7 IV. It's a full frame mirrorless camera, the one that I use primarily whenever I'm out shooting. And combined with the 70 to 200 f2.8 lens, this is my heaviest camera setup that I'm ever gonna use on a tripod. And this whole setup weighs just under four pounds. So the Manfrotto Element can definitely support it. And since I have these two side by side, this also gives you an idea of just how small and compact this tripod is whenever it's folded up. This tripod is 14.2 inches when it's fully collapsed, which is just over a foot long. In terms of weight, this tripod comes in at two and a half pounds compared to 2.3 pounds if you go for the carbon fiber version. So not a huge savings in weight by going carbon fiber. And another thing is if you get the carbon fiber, it's also a lot more expensive. It's a little over $200 compared to $105 for the aluminum version. So when I take into account the weight and the closed length of this tripod, it's super convenient because not only can I hand carry it without it being too too heavy, but it also fits perfectly into the water bottle holder of my new camera backpack. I'm going to be doing a separate video on this backpack just because I love it so much and there's a lot to talk about, but one thing that I love about it is it's a small 13 liter backpack that fits my camera gear perfectly and it has a water bottle holder on the side, which I sometimes use to hold a water bottle, but if I'm not using a water bottle and I really need to bring a tripod with me, then I pack my my Manfrotto Element tripod because it will fit perfectly into this little slot here. But this is just a perfect way to carry all of my camera gear, my mirrorless camera gear anyway. If I was using DSLR camera gear, this would not fit well in this backpack. But for my mirrorless camera needs, this is perfect. And so I roll with this setup pretty much all the time whenever I need a compact travel camera setup. So if you're interested in this camera backpack, then stick around because I'll be doing a full review on it in a future video. But let's get back to this tripod. So in case you're unfamiliar with compact travel tripods, they're coming in this style where the legs are folded up so that it becomes even more slim and compact. And so if you wanna use this tripod, let's actually take off this tripod plate. It's an Arca Swiss plate, by the way, and this tripod head is actually quite good, but it's making a lot of noise, so we're gonna take it off for a second. But if you want to unfold this tripod, then you just wanna pull the legs down and you'll hear them kind of click into place. So the tripod legs click into position and there's a couple of different positions that it can be in. This is the lowest that it can go, which is really nice if you need a low angle shot. So if you want this tripod to be a little bit taller or to change the position of the tripod legs, then all you wanna do is use your thumb to pull on this lever and then click the legs into place. So from this position, we can now make the tripod as tall as it will go. And the first thing we wanna do is go down to these legs. So there are four sections of legs that can extend and you do that by twisting these little knobs here. The fastest way that I found to deploy these legs is to untwist them as you have them all compacted at once and then pull the leg out and then twist those locks in the opposite direction to lock them into place. So after all four sections of each leg are fully deployed, there's one extra column here that you can extend to make this tripod the tallest it can go. 
And now at 56.3 inches, this is the tallest that the Manfrotto Element tripod can be. And as you can see, it is a little bit on the short side. So I'm 5'3 for context. So this tripod is shorter than I am. If you do put a camera on top, it will get a little bit taller, but not dramatically taller. So if you're in need of an ultra tall tripod, then this is probably not the one for you. And that's just a sacrifice of having a small compact tripod. It is very small even when it's fully extended. So that might be a pro or a con, depending on the type of shooting that you plan to do. But now that this tripod is fully deployed and I have my camera on top of it, there's a couple of other pros that I can mention. The first is this tripod comes with a Manfrotto ball head. If you don't know what a ball head is, it's the part of the tripod where you attach your camera. A ball head is nice because you can twist these knobs and it lets you rotate your camera in different directions. So I definitely recommend using a ball head or some type of head head on your tripod to get the most out of using your camera on top of it. It also comes with an Arco Swiss tripod plate that has a little thumb screw on the bottom so you don't need to use a special tool to attach the Arco Swiss plate to your camera. And the final feature that's really great about this tripod is the center column which has a little hook attached to it. So if you pull this hook down, you can actually hang something like a water bottle or even your camera bag to the bottom of this hook. And that's really great because it not only gives you a place to store your baggage, but it also gives you a little bit of extra stability to your tripod by adding that little bit of weight to the center column. So all in all, I absolutely love this Manfrotto Element travel tripod. It's my go-to travel tripod for when I go on backpacking trips or if I'm just wanting to bring the most minimal amount of camera gear possible to my photo or video shoots, which is pretty much all the time. So basically, it's my go-to travel tripod if I'm shooting something that is not here in the studio. But anyway, stay tuned because I do need to do an updated tripod video telling you all about the new tripods that I'm using these days. This is one of them. There are two other tripods that I'm using in rotation depending on what kind of circumstances I'm shooting in. So I'll be doing a full video about that very soon. Stay tuned and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for other tripods that I should try. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.